Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play The Kingdom of Venice. And in the last episode, uh, we secured and have managed to defeat a rebellion from the uh, Ottoman Empire. So right now we're going to take things a bit slowly, consolidate our gains, rebuild uh, the city a bit, get a bit more economic investment in. Um, but also I think we do have to start putting some troops into the mix to help protect uh, Austria from the Prussians. But I think it's time to become a matter of course that we do need to start focusing on trying to get down towards at least carcass shot to really uh, get a bit of bit more killing power out of our uh, artillery force and also recruits some <laughs> a type of uh, a new artillery force. We don't have anywhere we can build howitzers as of yet except maybe Venice? Nope, not even Venice. Uh, but cool. Right now everything's pretty good. Uh, we've got this cavalry unit running around Belgrade. They shouldn't cause any problems. Probably going to end up combining these guys together as a bit of a, a second force. So I've got one here in Istanbul, which may or may not push in towards Ankara. Then another force here that will likely redeploy to this sort of area. Um, then one thing we have to check is our ministers. We've still got a bad army minister, so let's see if we get a good one. Nope, Tito Colombo. Gonna get a new election in a turn anyway. I mean, I could hold instant elections, but everyone's generally okay. Um, I think I'm okay with Coke Blast Furnace, because it's just a flat wealth upgrade. But I think for now, we're gonna spend a few turns just consolidating our gains. And make sure that we're in a good position and then see what see what the AI elects to do because I could continue pushing against the Ottomans but right now we've got a reasonably secure landmass I don't like how Austria is moving my way so I'm gonna need to try and provide some support for the Austrians and Poland's there causing trouble as well they are ooh. if they go for Croatia. This could be really quite bad. Because it would cut us off from the Austrians. And I, I think uh, it depends what their relationships are like. They might be friendly with Russia. So if we try to take Croatia, uh, we all might end up in a bit of a tricky spot to try and hold it later on. But let's see. I need to make sure that my trade relationships relationships uh, relationships are as good as they can possibly be. Two thousand four hundred. That's okay. So, can a ragtag cavalry unit destroy one depleted uh, pike unit? Aha. So let's get these industry buildings repaired. Even push towards Serbia. These units, can, this army combine, push up to Belgrade. 2,200. Let's slowly start to repair Istanbul, but we also want to keep boosting our economy. You could cause some trouble, but I think with what we've got coming, we're, we're doing okay. I might actually skip towards doing explosive shells, because I think better artillery is quite a high priority. Can't trade with anyone else. Let's check our ministers. I'll boot this guy. We've got a really good minister, <laughs> uh, uh, army minister, but it's going to be an election anyway next turn. Two and a half thousand. So, Poland. Allies with Spain, Russia, the Marathas and Denmark. It's, right, it's their alliance with Russia that's a problematic. As it stands, we currently don't have any borders with the Russians. Yeah, you guys better get moving. I think ideally, I'd like to. I'd like to transition the Istanbul force into a true garrison rather than a full army. So try and 
uh, recruit. Yeah, and surprisingly the loss of Zagreb. But you yeah, try and build more of a... Um, more of a specialised army to defend against garrisons. So a lot less cavalry. You can get away with not as good infantry for a while. But yeah, let's wait and see. I really do just want to start... Well, upgrading roads is going to become more strategically important because we're going to need that mobility. 2,800, and we built the winery. Could upgrade the port here. First of all, you guys hunker down here. Let's try and combine... Well, let's try to get these line infantry replenished, specifically. Let's repair the Ordnance Factory. Leaves us 1,800. Which I'll probably turn into a road upgrade. Okay. I mean, this is a good. This is attempting capture because it is Naples is weak, and we could take it. But I don't really want to divide. I don't really want to split my or weaken my forces that much just yet. Let's make our let's, con, let's uh, condense our conscript force a little bit. There we go. Three hundred cash, new national leader, and our election results. So let's sort them out. Head of government, plus one navy, plus one army. Okay, keep an eye on him. He's just rubbish. Justice, plus one Navy, plus one Management, plus one Justice. So I'm going to keep him in Justice for now. He's got no one that's good for good for Justice upgrades. You're just terrible. So you're okay. Let's put you in Treasury. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, you're terrible. Terrible. Plus one Navy. Okay, you're going to replace this guy in the army ministry. You're going to replace like, Boot, the head of government. Good. I'm going to be a bit impacted from our navy guy. 4,200 though, that's pretty good. We're going to really start to get cooking here. But we're not going to attack. We're going to see if they come this way. Britain is sending another large army somewhere. Demand peace, Greece for peace. What if we just make peace anyway? Nope, fair enough. I'm going to auto it because it effectively Austria will fight them. Yeah, my pikemen will take some attrition, but I'm effectively going to use the Austrians to fight the battle for me. They want Bosnia for military access. No. Ooh, the Ottomans are going to try to attack us. Very well, Ottomans, try it. Lots of cavalry. They've got an organ gun, so they may eventually breach the walls, but that's okay. We want them to breach. But for the most part, we are going to slaughter them as they advance. Let's get cooking. This, arm, this army won't be able to push out for a while until we can get the public order sorted out. I've got a lot of my own cavalry that's just going to sit at the back. Okay, let's... Set a man up on the walls. The unit of line over here.
Put some extra line on the walls. Okay, let's anticipate breaches. And then start to dump down defences. Something like this. Demi cannons stay mobile. Line infantry and grenadiers just hunker back. So all this infantry is going to dip back here as a bit of a reserve. See, there are lots of archers which aren't scary. The organ guns deployed off axis. They are going mobile, but then they're going to redeploy. They are going to put our. It's going to knock some of our defences a bit off kilter. We're only speeding up time until we get a bit closer. Actually, bazooks are upset at what's going on. Broken. Let's put a unit of line infantry up here. Then, as a reserve option, put a pike unit to cover the gate. Go on, you men, make ready and fire. There we go. Excellent. We've not started engaging us with the organ guns yet. The archer unit is broken. The archers are not the sort of units you want to try and assault a wall. Put another unit up here, just in case they do get around our flank. Oh yeah, my general, make sure my general's in. Is Aurelia broken? They're coming back though. Organ gun is unlimbered. There we go. So who are you shooting? Ironically, you've actually just done a bunch of damage to your own guy there. They're now shattered. The organ gun fired low and killed a whole bunch of their guys. Oh, that unit routed completely. Well, maybe they've gone and got. Maybe they're hidden. Shattered. Everyone's focusing on this unit of Bashi Bazooks. Lightly armoured troops, so they're going to be taking some good damage. doing how you're while you're running around a lot part of it's probably because they're just so long and there goes the bashi bazooks there we go. 
you man, man your section of the wall and engage these Armenian archers. Firing, but it's not a great idea to get into a shooting contest with the men on the walls. The cover advantage is significant. Yeah, I thought someone was over here. them down. It looks like they are going to successfully scale the wall. Go on human, get into position. Just surround the wall, or just cover all the walls. Good kills, they're wavering. One's broken, one's wavering. Organ guns firing again. Just in time again to really damage their own attack. More archers coming back. Broken, broken. Yeah, they aren't done. There we go. Give them a volley. See if you can shatter them. The Serenia broken. And proper Janissaries are showing up. We've got a gap in our line because conscripts are rubbish. We've got a bit of a gap in our defences, but we're going to plug it. These giants are a bit scary, they managed to get to the walls in such good condition. Give them a volley. Immediately start attacking up the giants as they've made it to the wall. These guys are going to extract a bit of damage before they break. But they are wavering already. And now they're steady again. These guys are going to stop shooting so they don't shoot into the line infantry. Pikemen can't go onto the walls, so that's why my pikemen aren't up here doing stuff. Let's commit the conscripts in as well. Organ guns firing again. What a different target. Shooting over here instead. This is their most successful at attack so far, and all it's taken is almost all of their army to be pushed back. Uh, 
Excellent. You can push them back soon, that'd be super. You're still broken, you're not shattered. I mean, fair play, these units don't make it to the walls, but they don't run away either. There we go. You guys need to pick up the need to man your position so you can keep firing your artillery. Decided to not shoot for long enough that the Bashir Bazooks just ran up onto the walls. Okay, let's push my pikemen up to the gatehouse. They're going Sally. There you go, put a volley into these archers. Push my pikemen out of the gate. See if I can. It might lure there some of their cavalry in as well. Yeah, but these guys. They think, oh, let's just push up the walls. Let's take the walls. But then suddenly. These guys count as being on the wall, do they now? Armenian archers are coming back in. Alright, you guys just stay back. These Bashi Bazooks gonna get squashed between well these units. Charge along the wall, he falls. Oh, right. No, oh, you guys go this way. Charge along the wall. If you won't attack, you will run into them. One man blocks the way. Got him. Stuck into the rest of them. Broken. Let's slaughter them as they try and flee. Okay, let's speed up time. These guys repulse another archer attack. Maintain your firing positions. Oh, broken, and then these guys should follow if let loose with his pistol. Is still engaging the original archer unit. We're still advancing. They're advancing quite well. Now we're in position. Fire! Couple of hits, but some of them have to reload. Oh, we still have a hole in the wall, so let's make sure you're 
here, pikemen. Ah, my pikemen are stuck. Oh, but well my men are actually coming, they're moving away from the wall now to chase them down. Let's see if I can give them an order to pull back in. Speed up time, because right now, actually, it's just my artillery just plinking shots at them. haven't fully come back. Okay, march out, march back in. Yay! Close the doors. We're not manning the guns anymore. Effectively, what's going to happen is I'm going to do this. Let's put a unit into the armory. Use this weak unit as bait. Get off the walls. Although you have elected to take much longer than you should have done, so run this way. get off the walls now yourself so we don't lose the entire unit. Excellent. Bomb pike wall. Bomb pike wall. They can attack but it appears like they don't want to. So if they're going to stay like this, then I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when the battle is over. So I'm not going to push, not against all those camels. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a second. And there we have it. The Ottomans decided not to push forward and elected to uh, hold back. They've maintained a certain amount of their forces intact, but that's okay. Uh, 631 losses for us, but 2,500 for them. So, we came out of that pretty good. So back they go. Um, now we, we have a breach that we have to consider, which is okay in of itself, because we can create a decent killing zone. We have to be aware of the fact that we can start to get um, overwhelmed and ammunition um, management now becomes more of a thing to worry about. Although interestingly, we've got no sound. Well, no effect sound, that is. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, right now, it's consolidate our hold, get some of the more basic upgrades done so we can, later on, we don't have to worry about trying to manage our economy quite as much. Okay, right. Okay, there we go. Audio. Cool. So, repair. Uh, we need to worry about the, uh, the Grand Admiral T. It gives us merge tech boosts. And... Okay, so what we want to do is f chiefly focus on upgrading. Oh, one and a half grand, that's a lot. Okay, let's. Pick a handful of units and say, right, we're going to replenish those guys now. So you're upgrading your road. Bulgaria could get a better road, but actually you could also get a better government building. Increase repression and increase uh, taxes paid. Let's get rid of our navy guy. Good navy guy. Plus one management, plus one management. So he's just two star... So he's five-star management in general, so you're going to go over here. 
Five stars at the Treasury is better than five stars at the Navy for us. So now everyone's positive. We've got seven, um, seven years of good things happening. 4,100 next turn. 13 colonies trade is being blocked. Okay, so you're going to go pick up the Pikemen at Belgrade. Spend the rest of whatever money you've got on replenishing whatever you can. I don't know what your guys. I don't know what you're sat down here for. You got things to do. You need to get up here and start defending yourself, and eventually taking back Zagreb from the Polish. But yeah, easy does it. Easy does it. Get our. I at least want to get up to cobbled roads. I don't think we're going to get up to metal roads. We're not going to have uh, the money per turn to do that. But I want at least cobbled. Ooh, Austria's just lost an entire army. Poland could have gone for Hungary, but I suppose the garrison in Ankara is just too strong. I mean, ultimately. Down the line, I think what I want to do is take the Istanbul garrison and just push towards Ankara and keep that going. I want to take Ankara. I want to, or, or do I build a garrison in Istanbul, hold it, and sail down and attack Cairo and try and attack the Ottomans from the south instead? So if I can take An Ankara... No, Ankara. Cairo. Cairo is a good earner. I'm at peace with the Barbary States, so that's not a problem. Let's just check nothing weird has happened with... Yeah, so I don't know why these are turned off. I haven't turned them off. Like, I, why, would you, why would you turn this set the sound settings off? I don't know why the game's decided to start doing that occasionally. It just has. 4,000 cobbled roads in Rumelia. So now you're going to start growing a little bit faster. 18 turns till Kazani grows. Okay, a lot of things we can upgrade here. A prosperous port is quite valuable. Um, right. Let's get a governor's residence. And cobbled actually get two two governors governor's residence upgrades because it's just flat tax rate increases. One more turn to explosive shells. So we want to buy to build a grand arsenal somewhere and then it research carcass shot. Increases are okay for artillery, but we don't have much artillery, and carcass shot is a poor man's quick line. I mean if we could get quick line that would be perfect, but I'll take a, a while to get down there. I do need to get some of these other a scale, get carcass shot, then go down on, get down to government by consent. And start to get ready to upgrade my university. Okay, all my ministers are generally okay. 4,300 next turn. 74 cash. I mean, whatever I can upgrade for that money, I'll take. Upgrading, the, replenishing the Grenadiers. That'll do. Yeah, you're taxed and growing. In terms of my my actual regions, yeah, Venice is still top earner with the highest tax rate. So that's part of, part of what upgrading the government buildings does. It bumps up those tax rates. And sometimes the rates are quite significant as well. You know, you go from 3% to 9%, which is quite a big bump. I mean, is Poland at war with, with Prussia as well? I mean, Russia's a bit of a concern, for sure. Especially if they take Ayasi, because I have no interest in taking Ayasi because it just adds another front line 
with another major power to worry about. And that region is sufficiently small, I am not interested in in actually taking it. You know, the gains aren't worth the problems it causes. Not yet. Explosive shells. Get straight on with utilitarianism. Reduces it. Redu reduces happiness, but it increases town wealth growth, which is pretty awesome. Mines are good upgrades. Ports are good upgrades. I mean, we've got lots of stuff we can do. Upgrading Athens government buildings pretty strong. Nine percent, three to twelve percent growth. But I think I do want to get the last cobbled road upgrade in my empire. And then let's probably go with prosperous port upgrade for Athens. 190. Continue replenishing whatever you can. A couple of infantry units. Okay, Austria. Let's see if we can... Bunch of naval techs. So we we're also allied with Italian states. Let's see what the tech they've got to offer. Not to match is the answer to that. Fine. Russia, we're very friendly. Naval tech again. But they don't have fire by rank, that's good to know. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we are still in a position where we just need to keep. Let's try to get some port upgrades done. Get some more port upgrades and then we can start trying and send, send some troops up to support Austria against the Prussians. Or declare war on Poland, secure Bosnia, and then we've got a contiguous, almost contiguous territory between Venice, our capital, and the... Well, actually, I suppose we could go for Naples, because we're allied with the Italian states. I mean, they might declare war on us to try and secure, though, the Naples itself. So if we do take it, we want to slowly build up a garrison there. Or maybe we do just attack the Italian states and take Rome. I think we might do that. Yeah, they got a big army, but it's going to be rubbish. And if we siege it, force them to attack us, we'll just keep repulsing them. And then we'll have... I suppose, what, well, what are their alliances like? Just us. We can turn on them. Austria seems to be holding their own. And I think we can do this quickly enough. So let's go get to Ragusa. I mean, this is very much not the army I'd rather do it with. So you definitely want some line infantry. You definitely want some artillery. We'll go in, take Naples. Well, to be fair, I can do that now. Embark them aboard the galley. I just land them here. We can't go anywhere first turn anyway. Get in there and secure Naples. Let's cancel that recruitment and instead just recruit it. Man, well, eh. Don't worry about it yet. 1200. Can we do any good economy upgrades that aren't the church school? I think it's got to be the farms. Oh, 
or we recruit another unit of line. I think we recruit another unit of line, ship them down, get rid of some of these militia units. That'll add a reasonable chunk change into our pocket. Then we can lay siege to Rome. They'll attack us with this army. We defeat them. Take the Italian Peninsula. Rome will earn us a good amount of money once we, when we get in control of it. Then we can deal with Milan. And then suddenly we've actually got quite a decent little empire. But I still do need... Well, I need more money. Always more money. Austria's taken. Austria's on the offensive. Good, Austria. Excellent. I'm glad Austria's gone on the offensive. As long as it doesn't weaken their home territory too much. As long as it doesn't weaken their home territory too much and... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm generally just fine with it. It means they, they keep that northern, um, the northern flank of my empire pretty safe. I think, yeah, taking Venice is a slam, not Venice, Naples is a slam dunk because it's a very valuable region. So we've got a state house in Sofia. We don't have the roads, but we will do soon. We can build state capitals, but they're a bit too expensive. Let's upgrade the port in Istanbul, I think, because Istanbul is a valuable region. I mean, although Sarajevo does make more money. Um, hmm. Although I might actually... Let's sink some money into two 12-pounder upgrades. Yeah, that's thinned it out a bit. Yeah, for now we'll build some farm upgrades for Sophia. That'll squeak some good... That'll squeak some money out at some point and it'll actually speed up the growth of some of these towns. Servo vostro, signore. Okay, siege to the city of Naples itself, but now you can't replenish any more. Pronti, in marcia. So the intention is, if I take Naples, they won't storm north because they'll be trying to defend Rome. I mean, they might. They very well might storm north. I mean, to be honest, I might just take... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's advance forward, overwhelm them, capture the city. And the sooner we take it, the sooner we can start earning some money from it. Naples is a very, very wealthy region. I'm hoping with our, our economic development, we can catapult this region into a one of the most prosperous in our empire. And I think attacking Rome is definitely the right decision because we are only... They are, we are their only allies, so we can attack them, well, I mean, it'll cause a diplomatic, diplomatic penalty, for sure. But I think in the long run, it's what we got to do. Line infantry go out on the right. My irregular infantry corps are going to work their way through the town. infantry when it shows up. I mean, my line infantry here are a bit vulnerable. So let's actually f get a bit defensive. Okay. 
to be honest, just get, just send someone to charge them. Don't actually worry about shooting them. Conscripts over to support. These pikemen are running. The fifth regiment of foot though is in position. Bring the troops over. Killed the general of one force. Oh, your pike, man. Oh, the pikemen have ran into this house. Now they occupy it and they can't leave. Okay, there goes the pikemen. To advance at speed. If you guys order to attack, I think yeah, they are just stuck. So this unit's going to be. Oh, and they've blocked my militia in the in the house. Perfect. Great. Kushti. Wonderful. try and knock out this unit of garrison line quickly so you can push up here. For the most part though we are going to hit on the flank of their line. They are redeploying as a result. Fifth regiment's putting some good volleys in against the tenth. It'll take the third though to make them break. Second rank, third rank, fire, there we go. Advance up some of my irregulars. at all speed. There we go. This provincial militia is going to be engaged in multiple formations of irregular troops. corner off. Advance up. Aha. You meant for that. You, oh, ultimately, I don't need all these troops to deal with this handful of Spanish troops. You might actually pursue that militia to make sure they do route.
They don't have fire by rank. There goes the artillery. Once, we, once the 11th Regiment of Foot's gone, let's make sure my general is advancing as well. You meant fire by fire at will. You're not in a, the best position, but you only just need to make them run away. Chonky line right there. But that's adequate. You're in trouble. You don't even have bayonets. See, if I had artillery, you'd definitely be screwed. They've been pounded into nothing. Soon, we will have it soon. We probably could have had it actually to attack this city, but whatever. The open engage the 12th. Kill a handful of them as they run past. But for the most part. target. Oh, there you are. They're bringing up troops. Lots of odds and sods left lying around. Yeah, look at you guys. You're dead proud. You got some shots off. Not enough, I'm afraid. The 9th Regiment of Militia is going to have their way with you. Already wavering. There we go, already broken. Banish swine. They're running away in good order, but the army will be destroyed. And it's another territory brought into our empire. Excellent. So you men go up and join them. Prepare the magistrate as a priority. Finish what you can. You men get in position. Last two turns for the artillery. 867. Taranto grows in 19 turns, which should be a military port, but I don't want to make it one. Get rid of the church school because we don't need it. So we've got a town that we can upgrade and a port, which is pretty awesome. But we do need a sloop to go out there and protect it. Knights of St. John are an interesting target as well. But again, it depends on the, the protector of Georgia. So if we attack them, we're at war with Georgia, allied with Russia. But I, don't, I think if we attack them, it should we should only be at war with Georgia. But... I'm not overly bothered about making sure we do that yet. 5,000 this turn. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, right now you are just going to sit here and hold... Hold um, Istanbul for now. That's a good outcome for us. One more turn to utilitarianism, so we might build the university next as a priority. We've got, yeah, we've got plenty of good public order, so we should be okay there.
I mean, I'm, I might not attack the Italian states soon because we don't want to lose our alliance bonuses yet, or we don't want to make we don't want to appear like a bad uh, partner because we do kind of rely on you want spinning Jenny for a thousand. Yes. Money is good. I like money. Okie dokie. So I think we're going to try and get a... Get a university built and then build a ship to occupy the port in Naples because we can't occupy it with... We can't build the university and the port the same... We haven't got enough money to do both. So let's upgrade college for a thousand. Yeah, yeah, we want it to be a trade port, not a... Um, fishing port so let's recruit a light galley gives me 700 let's get these 12 pounders into position i mean just go here we haven't got to worry about getting all the way up there just yet We don't want to upgrade you to a church school either. We want the light of industry to burn brightly. So 785 isn't a lot of money. Let's focus it on replenishing this army even more. Because it is still slightly weak. I don't like what you're doing. If you're going to fancy going after Hungary. Hopefully this garrison will be enough to see you off. Marines and some good... Re good um, Good uh, cavalry should be okay. Some more state houses, a commercial port in Greece. 4,800 this turn, a little less. Yeah, you want to upgrade the magistrate. We'll get these ports upgraded, get the roads upgraded, get Naples upgraded because it's on. It's 2,800, which makes it my third most valuable region with a low tax rate as it is. Tax rate slightly shrink. Okay, let's hit end turn. Okay, the rest of the with the rest of Europe's Going to hell in a handbasket, but that's okay. I mean, ultimately, if our alliance is good, we're in the Polish Air War. If our alliance with the Italians is good, this army may actually go back, go to Cairo, rather than stay here. Königsberg is under attack. Oh, I didn't pick a the next technology, but at least it will be going on to a philosophical technology, which is always a good thing. More money, more growth, more everything. It's perfect. Four thousand nine hundred. Okay, so you want to upgrade the governor's oh, residence, you, you want to upgrade the trade port, you want to build a craft workshop. You've got mine, you've got vineyards and farms. High yield vineyard, high yield vineyard, low yield farm. 1600 though is enough to also do nothing else we want to do yet, actually. Mm. 
maybe upgrade a winery. Extra pop growth, which we don't really need, but it's all about that income. So once Taranto grows, oh, we've got Potenza. That's another town that will grow. Let's get roads. So you've gone straight on to government by consent. That's fine. We're going to get classical university, then probably push on to joint stock companies just to keep that growth and the, the growth going. Because unless Hungary, if Hungary takes it falls to the Poland, we may end up having to deploy this army into Europe to try and plug this gap. But again, I want to use our relatively stable position to fundamentally upgrade the foundations of our empire before we go sticking our head into a hornet's nest of another entire war. And I need to build another university in uh, Istanbul as well, so that could cause extra problems. Russia has captured Konigsberg. Okay, I think once I get government by consent, I need to really go hard down the artillery track to get quick climb. Because we've got fire by rank, fantastic technology. We've got artillery, which is fine. Shrapnel's brilliant, but it's not super needed. Basic artillery, 12 pounders and up is fine for the rest of the game. Uh, but quick climb is just such a force multiplier it's unbelievable so let's build a great arsenal to get to get that technology on its way Bulgaria got their roads okay I think we need to upgrade some mines mega yield silver mine gets me an extra 200 iron mine gets me an extra 100 gotta be careful here because you are going to be slowly getting more and more unhappy. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that you grow, your town grows. I could just build a, a religious building here, or just build a religious building somewhere around here. Because they've all got towns that, that are growing. Auto upgrade port. It's a tricky one. Craft workshops a good bet in Naples. Grade the other good winery. So you're going to really start to pop and churn out some good income. 4,900 still. It's only still not back up to full strength. I could use you to assassinate this guy, but I'm kind of want to keep an eye on what's going on up here. tricky one we're still uh poland took hungary not great my force in naples may have to deploy into central europe to get involved in that mess and ultimately try and capture those territories back from poland but it might bring us into war with the russians which means i probably want to make peace with uh the ottomans They can still attack me across the, the, uh, the Dardanelle or the Bosphorus, Bosphorus Strait and take me out. But I think I do need to start putting Poland under pressure. I can't afford to let them undermine my borders too much.
ultimately I might try and see if I can make peace with Spain as well. Milan's a tempting target, but I think Milan puts me too much in the mix in Northern Europe with those smaller nations. Ah, uh, trade. Some of our trade routes are being raided. Hey, trade partners. Very friendly with Russia. Trouble is, they are allied with Poland. So do I want to trade with them? I mean, they're very friendly, so I think we kind of have to to maintain our... Excellent, so they're happy with that. No one else. So Russian trades offset the loss of trade for the 13 colonies. Excellent, Syracuse. Upgrade the commercial port again, see if we can get more trade routes. We do go from two to three. Let's get that done. Okay, you're good. Trade agreement. Oh, they cancelled it and we start it up again. Election results. Everyone, I think, is generally in the same spaces. I think everyone's roughly where I want them to be. Seven hundred and fifty-one. Okay, let's take our smallest conscript unit, fold them in for the others. Although well, my militia's still okay. Let's upgrade. Replenish these three line infantry units. I mean, what's on the route to Ankara? So there's a full stack. They're coming back our way. Okay, right. I do think you guys are, are going to be holding. I may have to... I can't recruit another full army. That's the problem. Although I don't mind if... Ultimate, where's Poland? Poland, Poland, Poland. Unfriendly. Can't request an alliance because they're an enemy of Austria. But if I attack them, will Russia join the war? Ultimately, I might not care. That grab's kind of worth 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 taking. But it's more about I am Munich's rebelled. Austria's in trouble. I think I've got to try and try and keep them. I need to try to help them. So Ottoman Empire. Request peace. Peace treaty signed. They hate us, understandably. Let's not do anything mad yet. Let's try and get some money, get some replenishment here. I mean, I hope, Aust I'm hoping Russia doesn't join them in war. And I can start to filter you guys out. Although I could do a straight swap. Just swap this army for this army. But I'm not going to go mad and redeploy everyone. Oh, I didn't uh, rebalance my... I oh, know, my, my RT technologies aren't viable anyway. Um, I can't... I haven't built the artillery building yet, so I can't re research the tech I want. The Dutch are doing good work. Oh, yeah, I think Poland is, is aware of what's going to happen.
I think I do, yeah, I do need to start pulling out the Istanbul army and replacing it with a garrison. Because I think once we start fighting against Poland, we are going to start fighting against Russia, and it's going to start to get very awkward indeed. And the Baltic's just a mess. Corland's being Corland. And they're going to bring their navy back to the Baltic Sea. Uh, attack them? Nope. Nope. I have no trade on that line, so I don't mind them raiding it. 4,600. Okay, Naples, let's replace... Ooh, okay, right. So, if I pull you guys out completely, understandably, you're very upset. But I can start to build a garrison. Probably the cavalry unit back. Disband the demi cannons. Start to recruit some artillery, or one unit of artillery at least. I still want to keep trying to grow my economy. But I think it is inevitable that we have to. We have to try and support the Austrians, and I, the trouble is, is yeah, we could be in, we could be involved in some major wars. But I've made peace with uh, the Ottomans. Hopefully, they leave me alone long enough to build up a garrison. Oh yeah, Heracleon, I forgot about you. I'm not going to do anything at Heracleon yet. Oh, let's build a. Engineer unit. Oh no, first of all, let's get a. Hmm. You need some cavalry, is what you need. But I think I have to go to the wards Poland and say, sorry, Poland. I'm going to declare war on you and I'm going to call in my allies to help. Italy didn't join our side, but we're still allies. Oh no, I didn't notice who I was at war. <laughs> didn't know who was gonna who's at war with me. Yeah, I'm at war with Russia now, which isn't good, but not a lot that can be done there. Um, trade. Mughal Empire request trade. Russia, peace, and they offer you government by consent <gasps> bye bye rank exposure shells division of labor but they'll give me a cool grand this is not great in the grand scheme of things but i really don't want to be at war with russia this way it allows me to be at war with just poland lithuania for the time being which i will take um It does mean I can probably try and recruit another cavalry unit to bolster this army, take Zagreb, push up, attack Hungary, and start. The one army here can spar up here. This army is ready to fight over here. Then we can slowly start to grow things properly. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.